Welcome to our Monday night live workout, or hopefully you're catching it on the replay if you're not here live with us. If you are live, you get to comment and ask questions and I will answer them live at the end of our workout. So if you've been joining us on Monday nights, we've been doing these micro workouts. So I'm giving you options that you can do anytime, especially since we're all still in self quarantine mode. So we're gonna do three circuits again and think about doing one in the morning, one in the afternoon and one in the evening. Although you can do them all at once if you like. Get this in any way that works for you. We're so thankful that you're here. So I'm going to show you a couple of moves now so that during the workout you know what is coming and we'll use them to warm up a little bit. So one of our first hip moves is just simply a squat curl press with a knee lift. So let's try that here. Your feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. So you're squatting down, curling up and pressing. Now if you have dumbbells, we'll be using them in the actual workout. But this is just a great total body move to get you warmed up, get the heart rate up a little bit, get the blood pumping. Maybe you've been sitting for a while. Maybe this is your stress release. Maybe this is your feel good, kick in, endorphin hormones going, and you're gonna feel great when you're done with this. So I'm keep going, I'm just gonna show you from the side what that squat looks like. Knees don't go beyond the toes. Good, I'm gonna show you a second move. This one is actually gonna be on the stealth. So you're seated, you kind of back your booty up to the stealth, tilt it down, you're coming back. Now this one you're going to take the right hand and just tent it on the floor. So just the fingertips are down if you can, but more if you need to. Left hand is behind the head. This is our beginner move. It's way harder on the stealth than it would be on the floor. The next variation, a little bit more challenging, would be to bring the right knee to the left elbow. More challenging would be to extend the full leg, crossing. And if you want to really challenge your balance, you can bring that leg out to the side, engage more inner thighs. And let's just do that on the left. So we started just with a cross, left elbow, actually right elbow, left knee is the middle one. Advance would be to extend that leg. And if you really want to challenge your balance, come out to the side, get that inner thigh engaged. Crossing, awesome. And I'll show you one more move before we get started. Um, this one, you're on your knees. You're gonna be on your left knee, extend your right leg out, and this one is gonna be a push up, rotate right. Push up, rotate right. Every time to the right, and a variation, or actually the other side, is the left leg comes out, right knee is down, push up, rotates left, push up, rotates left. If you want to take this up onto your um, toes, you can do that as well. So I just want to give you a little bit of a teaser of what's to come, and that will be part of our circuits. So if you're ready to get started, we're standing just nice and easy while everyone is gathering their mat, their stealth, their towel. We're actually going to use a towel if you have one. Reaching up. Um, your water bottle always. want to get in plenty of water. Good. Okay, just take a second and stretch that left or the right shoulder towards the left knee. That should feel good. And now I'll switch that left shoulder towards the right knee. Good. Come center. Just arch your spine up for a second. Maybe you haven't done that all day and that feels great. And then reverse. Pull your head up. Sink your spine down. That is awesome. All right, good. We're going to get started. If you have a towel, I'd like you to roll it up and put it just above your knees. So I'll show you the starting position here. You have a good looking plank, your toes would be up and you're squeezing that towel together or advance you're up on the toes, squeezing that towel together. So we're getting the inner thighs engaged with our plank. So we're gonna start our first 20 second interval. Get ready, get your towel rolled up between the knees, just above the knees and go. Good, hopefully you can hear that timer. If not, I'll be cueing you along. So this is our basic good looking plank. Try and get those knees to touch, but you've got the towel between there, keeping them apart, but keep squeezing. Engage those inner thighs, or you're up on the toes, keeping the platform level. Good, and release. Now if you have weights, grab them. This is our squat.
squat curl press knee lift that we just did in the warm up. So it's going to be a squat, a curl, a press with a knee lift. So get the form down first. Once you have the form and the balance down, you can pick up the pace. So the idea of these intervals is to keep the intensity up, even though the impact is low, still gets the heart rate way up and time. Nice. Grab your towel, comes just above your knees, down to the self, get those knees back, body in a straight line, squeeze those inner thighs together, hold that plank. If you're advanced, just pop right up onto those toes. I'm always going to show both. Got to just engage that core, breathe it out, stay with it, keep getting stronger, and time. If you have the weights, pick them up. Squat curl press with a knee lift. And go. Good. So in between, we have 10 seconds to transition. It's just enough to get into position and get moving. Again, if you're feeling great, pick up the pace. If you have dumbbells, use them. If you don't, cans of soup, bottles of water, anything that adds extra resistance, and time. Good, back down to your mat. Roll that towel up between the knees. Back into your plank, holding. Feet up if you can, make sure your knees are protected. Squeezing that towel. Get those inner thighs to work. Glutes are working. Up on your toes if you can. Good, feet are close together. Makes it tougher to plank. And release. Excellent, round three. Squat, curl, press, knee lift. You know what's coming now, so work it. Here we go. Get that squat as low as you're comfortable without bothering your knees. Good, feeling great. You can make it a kick for some added balance and intensity. Alternating legs, big arms overhead. Time. Nice, round four. Last one, best one, you know what's coming. Squeeze that towel, get in that plank position, holding, breathing, core is engaged. Squeeze that towel, get those inner thighs. That'll go right into strengthening the low back muscles, those little erector muscles. Toes if you can, and time. Nice, squat curl press knee lift. Round four of these, make it your best. I'll show you from the side. And go. So your feet are landing just a little wider than shoulder width apart. Stand nice and tall, press overhead. Pick up the pace if you can. And time. Awesome job. Stub Nation, that's round one down. We have two more rounds to go. Towel off if you're getting sweaty. You want to make sure you're not sliding. Grab water if you need to. And we are ready for the next round. Uh, we do not need the towel for this round. I'll show you what the first one looks like. I'll show you the advanced position first. So you're up into a plank and you're going to take your heels and tilt them to the right. So you're swivel there to the right. If you need to, drop the right knee, and that will take some of the work out and make it a little more of a beginner move. So that's our first one. Take a nice deep breath in, maybe your deepest breath all day. Are you ready? Inhale. Nice big exhale, just sigh it out. Okay, and here we go. Get into position, get those feet up, Turn the heels to the right, and go. Good, so you've got a full plank. Tilt the heels to the right. Now you're gonna feel this a little different if you haven't done this before. You're gonna feel this in that right oblique, that bottom oblique. If you need to, drop that right knee. You're still working. And time. This is the one where we came onto our back. So have a seat right at the edge of your stealth. Tilt back, tent the right hand, you bring the left elbow, 
towards the right knee. Try and keep that stealth level. Intermediate, we pull that knee up. Exhale as you come in. Inhale as you come out. More advanced, extend the leg. Most advanced, come out to the side. Grab that inner thigh. If you need to put the whole hand down on the right, you can. Nice job. Good, we're back to the plank. All the way out. This time we're going to tilt the heels to the left. Good, so swivel them left. You're going to feel this on the left oblique. No tight grip there on the stealth. Hands are nice and light. Breathe through, engage the core. Feel the side of the waist working. You can drop the left knee if you need to. Protect your knees. And time. Good. Now have a seat. Get into position quickly. You've got 10 seconds. This time you're going to tent that left hand down. Right elbow comes across. And if you can, pull that knee up. Good balance. If you're feeling great, extend that leg. Good. You know the moves now, so go right into them wherever you feel confident. You can extend out to the side. Get that inner thigh engaged. You'll really feel that pull on the core with that stealth platform moving. And time. Nice. Flip it back over. Onto your toes. Good. Heels tilt to the right. And hold. Right there. You've got it working. 20 seconds. Breathe through. Keep everything relaxed but the muscles that are working. Head is in a natural extension of your spine. Breathing. Drop the knee if you need to. Good. Have a seat. Back right up to your self platform. Extend back. Tent the right hand. Left elbow is crossing this time. And you decide. You go right into the one that you want to do. Wherever you feel you're being challenged. Good. Most advance is all the way up to the side. Breathing. Stay with it. And time. Nice. We're on our last round here. These go quick. So get the most out of it. Get into position. Full plank. Tilt the heels left. Holding. Breathing. Feel that left oblique working. Hands are loose. Breathe through it. Triceps engaged. You've got this. Stay strong. And time. Nice. Back up to your platform. This time the left hand comes down. Right elbow comes across. And if you're ready, go right into whichever one feels good for you. Could be foot on the ground. That's fine. Could be knee. Full leg. Or if you're feeling great, come out to the side. Get the inner thigh going. Breathing. And time. Nice job, Stealth Nation. That's two rounds now. You're doing awesome. We have one more to go. We're going to stick with the same sequence of eight exercises, two total moves, four of each, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds transition. Grab water if you need it. Towel up if you need it. Um, this next one, I showed you last week, but I'll also show you another variation of it as well. So last week, we were here on all fours, so your hips are at a 90 degree angle, your feet are tucked under, and we just hovered those knees just off the mat about an inch. So right there, that's work. If you're feeling amazing, I'll show you the next one, you can actually bring those knees up to the stealth. You're not leaning on the stealth, but think about drawing your elbows to your knees. So it's an isometric contraction there. The abs are totally engaged. Again, you're not leaning on the stealth, but pulling elbows towards knees. So you choose where you want to be. Get ready. And go. Good. So you can stay in that 90 degree angle with the hips and knees. And just hover right there. Or you can pull in and really bring those elbows towards the knees, contracting. It's isometric. It might feel weird. You might look funny. But I promise you it's working. Draw the elbows into the knees. And awesome. Good. So we're standing. Actually, we're going to stay kneeling. Extend the right leg out. And this one, 
going to have a push up for the right rotate. So it's a push up for the right rotate. Right leg is out, left knee is bent. So you can do this from your forearms or you can come up here, full extension and rotate and rotate. Good, do what feels good. Next. So we're going back to the first one, which is the isometric. So you're on all fours, hands and knees, tuck the toes under, and you can hover right there, which is work. If you're a beginner, you need to rest, pop back up. If you're advanced, creep those knees in a little, pull those elbows towards the knees, feel that isometric contraction, holding, breathing, stay with it, and time. Nice, let's go full extension. This time the left leg is back. Creep that right knee back. You have a push up with a left rotate. Push up, left rotate. Good, I like this better with the full extension than on the forearms. Push up, left rotate. If you want to go onto both feet, you can. As long as you have control and strength to do it. And time, nice. Round three, back onto all fours. Tuck those toes under, hover those knees. If you're feeling strong, creep those knees in, drive the elbows towards the knees. Holding, breathing, contract those abs. Stay with it, you've got eight seconds. And time, nice, right leg goes out. Creep that left knee back. This time you have a push up and a right rotate. Push up, right rotate. Again, if you want to go up to both toes, you totally can. And if it's too much to be on one knee, you can come to two knees and rotate. You do what works for you. This is kind of an in-between one here. One knee, one toe. Takes a lot of balance and time. Round four. You're doing awesome. Tuck those toes under, get ready to hover those knees. Good, and again, if you're feeling extra strong, creep those knees in, draw those elbows towards the knees, draw the knees towards the elbows, feel that isometric contraction, holding, breathing, two and one. Nice, left leg is extended. This time you have a push up with a left rotation. Creep that right knee back. Here we go. Push up, right rotate. Try and keep that platform nice and level. Right rotate, push up. And again, you can go to both knees or both toes. I'm showing the middle one here. Do what feels good for you. Triceps working, chest working, and time. That is awesome, Stealth Nation. You got through three rounds. So imagine doing that first one in the morning, the second one midday, and the third one in the evening. Let's do a couple of stretches while we're here. Then I'm going to come in and check for any questions you might have or comments. Bring those knees back. We're going to use the stealth for this stretch and all the way back over your heels. Big exhale. Just sink down. Let your spine sink low. Drop your head. Excellent. Bring your hips to the left and point the front of the stealth to the right. Good. Now the stealth goes to the left. Sit over the right heel. That should feel awesome. Good. Come back center. Bring your right foot out in front. You're going to reach all the way up and arch back. Good. Drop your right hand, stretch to the left side. Good. Bring the right hand up, reach to the left side. Awesome. Keep going. Hold it there. Long spine. Good. Shift your weight to the back. You're going to bring your toes up, heel down. Just big exhale and fold forward. You might feel that hamstring's a little bit tight. You may have been sitting all day. And release. Nice job. Bring that left foot out in front. Arms come up. Arch back. Look back. Good.
Good, big exhale, drop the right arm. Take the left arm over to the right side. That should feel awesome. Got a lot of core work in today. Good, bring the right arm up, stretch over to the left side. And release, shift your weight to the back. Heel down, toe up, you can tend those fingers down. If you can, big exhale, sink a little bit lower. And release, nice. Back on all fours, drop your head down, arch your spine up. That should feel awesome. And release, pull your head up, sink your spine down. Get it nice and low. And release. Fabulous job, Stealth Nation. So proud of you guys. I'm gonna come in and see if there's any questions I can answer. Oh, Dennis is here, Brian's here, awesome. Kristen's here, yay, Kristen just ordered hers today. So excited for you, Kristen. Margie's watching, awesome, love it. Margie has been riding her bike today, I love it. Danielle is watching, amazing. So, so glad that you guys are here. Appreciate you checking in. Um, tell your friends about the Stealth, it is incredible. It is great for home workouts. You can get them pretty quickly depending which one you order. I know as soon as we order it, we want it to arrive and it, we're getting it to you as quickly as we can. Tune in for all the workouts. Even if you don't have the stealth, you can still join in and get started. And we have more live workouts coming for you. So you can watch the replays and also check in to see when there's other live workouts later in the week. So I will keep checking this feed. If you think of any questions that we can answer for you about stealth training, core training, or any fitness or nutrition tips, that's what we're here for. We're happy to do it. You guys keep showing up, stay consistent, and uh, keep supporting each other. Way to go, Stealth Nation. Have an awesome night.